Welcome to Crimson Ink. I'm Barb and this is my store in Adelaide, Australia. In this short TV series, we're going to show off our work through real clients, challenges and community work. By doing this, we're going to give you a taste of what it's like to work in a tattoo studio. I'm going to take you through the process from start to finish, whether it's a brand new tattoo, cover up or tattoo removal. We want all our clients to enjoy their tattooing experience and leave here satisfied with their new tattoo. I have amazingly talented staff that have all different types of experience and a real passion for the art. Why don't you come in and check us out here at Crimson Ink. Today we're doing the winner of our Mother's Day competition and she uh, wrote in why she wanted to win and why she was the best mother. <laughs> We've also got a busy day, we're all tattooing today. Cookie's doing a poo dog, one yep. of his favourite subjects. Love the dog. <laughs> Brought to you by Crimson Egg. That was crap, do it better. <laughs> Flawless. <laughs> Come on. Talk like a, you've got to talk like a news chief. Well, well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Really? That's the best you got? Mm. You do it. Like, you've got, you got to look at the camera deep in there. And you yeah. go. Today's episode is brought to you proudly by Crimson Inc. Founders of tattooing across the world. <laughs> Today is another day I bring people closer to their dreams. I hope you enjoyed this episode. <laughs>
That's probably why. Right. More circulation. Mm. See you later. But also See the ya. sensation of not having a hair to, to stop the friction from your clothes. It's just smooth. Yeah. It kind of feels like tickling Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tickling ants. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it. <laughs> that made me scream. <laughs> so I'm use it for the first hour or two. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just look straight ahead. Yeah. You sort of want to look there like that. Just there. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Yep. It's good to me. Again, I've picked a cushiony bit around my arm. They're just being on the inside. <laughs> might, might tickle a bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. Like ticking ants. <laughs> Probably not as much. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you a chair. You get the comfy chair. Comfy chair? Yes. The world sucks. Right here. And I hope it blows up by Trump. Sure. Mm -hmm. And are you comfortable like that? I'll just wrap that. Part of the armor. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I'll take it off. I chose the design to give away for the Mother's Day competition because we do quite a few competitions and um, I wanted to pick the design myself this time. I do a lot of other people's designs and this time I thought I'd like to do something that I would actually like to tattoo. Uh, I've seen a few of tattoos done in the white um, with shading in the background to bring the white out. I thought I'd like to try that and incorporate a... a <laughs> I incorporated their white into this tattoo to just give it a go, basically. I'm just going to line it in grey so then when it heals, we don't really see it. Mm -hmm. This is a very light wash. It'll be darker um, here than what it will be healed. Oh, the anticipation <laughs> of the first part, that's what gets me every time. Gosh, that's nothing. No, nah, that compared to the other ones. <laughs> <laughs>
yeah, yeah, like a bit more, so it's just not a random heart. It looks yeah. a bit more floaty. It goes best with like the other colours. Well, I'm, I'm a strong believer of you got to wear it. So uh, if you want purple and you got purple in your head, unless it affects the art itself, yeah. I'll give you purple. Okay. Like it doesn't, and purple is a neutral colour. It goes with just about anything. So you're cool. Like it's not going to be any issue at all. Um, size wise, I'll get that done on the day. So I'll just put it up to you. You tell me exactly how big you want it yep. and make it soon. And then uh, from here, all we really need to do is make a cooking and we're on. Sweet. Sound yes. cool? Yes. Cool. I'm calling dodgy mob nothing. What? What? <laughs> Absolutely not you. This other barb that I know. Barbara Cow. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, like, it's like when my name changed, I would come up nicer. That's the biggest load of horseshit <laughs> I've ever heard. <laughs> Voila. The customers just walked into the shop, wanted a food dog. Found him a food dog. Now we're tattooing it. <laughs> Should come up really well. All right, so I'm not going to have this big ass straight line. Yep. All right, that'll be gone. I'll fade it out. Yeah. Oh, with something. I don't know yet. It'll be some form of just shade out. Just to fill in that little sort of yep. section there. Same back here. But that's our ground face for the time being. Yep. Here Cookie's hand drawing some flow lines so that he can visualise what the stencil can't produce. Freehand lines are great because they cater to the shape of the individual. <laughs> Alrighty, you can have a seat now and start to relax, start to get nervous. Okay. Let's make it famous. Cookie seems to be doing well, so I want to see how Mark's doing with his client today. Uh, we're just doing a little bit more to a line. We're putting an archway above it, sort of a gothic style to it. We're on the second session now, this should be the finishing one. Uh, it's probably only got another hour maybe left in it, and we should be done with this one. Mark is smashing through his tattoo. I have another client with an interesting design that I started a while ago. Come and have a look. Hey, you going? Hello, I'm here to yeah. get the rest of this fixed up. Have it here. Yeah, awesome. Cool. Okay, so what have we got left to do? Just, uh, just the rose and a bit of white. Yep, fine. Come on through. Cool. Uh, Lara came a couple of weeks ago and we started this top part of the design. Um, it's like a Indian uh, dancing girl. Um, then she wanted me to add um, something to do for her kids. So we did the pocket watch theme with um, different times for each kid and their initials on the, on the face of each clock. We've nearly finished, we've just got the grey wash, finish, finishing off a bit of grey wash and then I'm going to add some white and then she'll be done. How's your day been? Pretty quiet actually. Quiet? Yeah, I've just got the kids off at mum and dad's house. Yeah, a little bit of a break for you. Yeah. So how many kids have you got? Uh, four. Four? Wow. Okay. I know. Just full on. Noisy house. <laughs> you wouldn't believe. <laughs>
about? Yeah, I, I was talking to Barb on Facebook and I showed her a picture of what I wanted and she drew something up for me and I really liked it. So yeah, I got it done and then I got it added on to like with my kids, like um, dates of births, initials and times they were born. So um, pretty much just got it for myself because I can. <laughs> yeah. Because I've got the four kids and I don't really do yeah. that much. So yeah. Yeah, you enjoy yeah. coming here, don't you? Have your I do. Game I love it. Yeah. And Bob's cool. But, um, I get along with her well. So yeah. Right, and we did a, a treadmill swap, sort of like, you know, a bit of fitness there, swap for a tattoo. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm trying to find more uh, exercise equipment. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Yeah. How much longer do you reckon? Uh, I've got four books left okay. to do. Yep. Um, this week's the last week, so. And that's for your old age care? Um, disability. Disability, yeah. yeah. Oh. So I hope they'll be earning some money soon. Here I'm doing some dark shading to add depth and some white highlights to make it pop and bring it to life. Okay, there we go. Awesome. We're done. Cool. You like it? Pretty happy with it. Good. So now we just need something to fill in that other gap. I know. Gap. Next one's going to be right yeah. now. Yeah. So you're okay. thinking about doing a whole sleep? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So we could do the um, snake charmer and perhaps an elephant. Um, I like your... Henna, what you were saying about yeah, Henna. Yeah, yeah, do Henna in the yeah. background, so it's sort of keeping to the Indian yeah. thing. Yeah, cool. <laughs> cool, so you love it? Yeah. Good. I'm very happy. Cool. <laughs> Excellent. Awesome. No worries, thanks, Lara. It's all right. Just let me know when you want to do the next bit, and I'll yeah. draw it up for you. Sorry. Excellent. Sorry, sorry. Thanks, Lara. Bye, Bye. Bye. See ya. Uh, I've finished the outline and now I'm starting on the colour, uh, doing a bit of darker behind the bugs to make them pop. Uh, I'm going to go through and do that like a bluey grey um, inside the petal, um, just a flat grey outside the petal and some shading and then go in with a burgundy in the middle for the, like, the tentacles of the flower. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Hopefully, it's in like six weeks. It's hard, yeah. And when she rocked up like 10, 15 minutes later, I was like freaking out, thinking like she wasn't going to show up. And then there was no difference with the bathroom. I think there's a virtue, my friend. <laughs> Cookie's doing well, he's putting a lot of fine detail into the outline of this food dog. Yeah, yeah. 
Nationals where we got to today. Got a nice big slab on there. You go check it out, grab a smoke yeah. and whatnot. It's Poo Dog. Thanks for watching. I tried to keep as little in the face as possible because I left everything around so busy. So that way the face jumps out. Alright, we're done. It's the bottom. So I'd, I'd say give it two weeks before we touch it again. Yeah. Okay, so we're just adding some white now. Uh, I've gone through and done all the grey, the blue grey on the petals, and now we're doing the white. Lastly, we will do the burgundy for the middle of the flowers. Okay, it looks a bit pink, the blood's coming through on the white. It'll probably take a couple of hours for that to go and for the white to show properly. A bit bloody today. Yeah. I'm not usually very bloody, it must just be this spot on my arm. Like I said, I never had my arm done before, so. New spot, new rules. This tattoo looks more bloody than normal, but it actually isn't. The blood shows easily on a white or lighter shade. Got it? Because of that one? No, just the warm feeling from yeah. it gets done to settle. Yeah. Okay, so we finished the white, and now we're going to add the burgundy for the middle of the flowers. And then that's it, all finished. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. Good? Not too bad, nice and warm. Getting through it? Yep. I put Vaseline over the white so that the burgundy doesn't stain the white. Just so you all know, for those watching at home, the pain is really not as bad as you think. Okay, we're done. Let's give it a wipe down. It's got a pink tinge to it. That should clear when it heals. We're in a few hours, really, when it stops bleeding. What do you think? Wonderful. Yeah? I look forward to seeing the white evolve. Yes, yeah. That'll be great. We'll give it a few hours. Yep. And have a look. Oh, that looks good. Love it. Love it. Good. Yeah. Really pleased with that. Thank you. Okay. Do you remember how to look after it? Yeah. Yes. Good. Cool. Yes. I've got my tattoo product drawer. Yes. Yeah. So no so way. Thank you for being part of our day, our Thank promotion. Thank you very much, Amelia. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Everything. No worries. And you enjoy the muffin. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Thanks again so much no for worries. that. And I hope Thank it all you. goes well. No worries. Hope you have a great Mother's Day. Yeah, we'll be too. No worries. See you later. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Next week on Crimson Ink, all four of us are going to put flan through a bit of pain. We're all going to tattoo him at once, doing one big piece. So let's see how it goes. See you like oh, fuck! Six seconds, oh. man! Try and do it as quick as I can, bro. We're it up. And we've also got Matt, an old client of mine, coming in for a cover up of his Japanese symbol on his foot. So we will catch you next week to watch Matt and the guy hurt flan. <laughs> <laughs> <No. laughs>